السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. What's the deal with honeymoons? حلال or not? Now, first of all, I want to clarify that there is a different opinion amongst the scholars regarding this issue. So if you follow a scholar who holds a different opinion than mine, then please go ahead and ignore this video and go ahead and follow them. Okay. So honeymoons can either be permissible or impermissible, depending on what you do and where you go. If you're involved in some impermissible activity, some haram activities during your honeymoon, then obviously this type of honeymoon is haram, it's impermissible. And if you're going to a place where a lot of sin takes place, then once again, obviously this type of honeymoon is impermissible as well. If, however, that is not the case and you're able to fulfill your obligations as well, then that would be a case where this type of honeymoon is permissible. So let's say, for example, Vegas. Can't think of too many halal things to do in Vegas. On the other hand, if you go to a resort of some type, especially a type of resort where you can have your privacy, that's obviously a lot better. Sometimes people ask, is a is a uh, Umrah honeymoon a good idea? Yes. If you have the ability to do so, it's a wonderful idea. So start your marriage off with a trip in which you're both involved in the worship of Allah. That's beautiful. That's definitely starting off on the right foot. And that's a way to actually infuse barakah or blessings into your relationship from the get-go. And subhanAllah, I can't think of too many places in the world as beautiful, as spiritually beautiful as Mecca and Medina. I actually can't think of any places like that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.